Hello viewers. Today I am going to show you how you can install Lineage ROM on Huawei Mate 9 which is running EMUI 9.1 latest version. Viewers, uh, first you need to enable developer options and then in, in developer options you need to enable OEM unlock. Chinese models don't have OEM unlock. Okay, I have already enabled OEM unlock and uh, the next step will be to unlock the bootloader. Okay, you must buy bootloader, bootloader code for your phone. It is not available for free. I will connect my phone in fast boot mode. Sorry, my phone is broken. Okay, and uh, you can see bootloader is showing locked now. I will move to computer and uh, there uh, we need to run command fastboot space OEM space unlock okay this is the code this code is for my phone only you cannot use this code you need to buy for yourself okay so the command will be fastboot space OEM space unlock space and then paste the code and press enter when you will press enter a warning will appear on your phone screen you need to select yes and press power button to confirm your decision and then bootloader will be unlocked and your phone will perform factory reset make sure you back up all important data on your phone okay now we should wait until the factory reset process completes viewers uh, you can skip all the configurations the initial configurations you can skip most of the steps you don't need to add a google account you don't you don't need to add uh, wi-fi uh, you can skip all these steps because we are going to change the rom of this phone so we don't need to set up these things okay we are in the main menu the main screen home screen and now we need to uh, enable files transfer mode because we are going to uh, copy the lineage rom on sd card okay you must use micro sd card and copy lineage rom image and gapps zip file both files you need to copy on the SD card of your phone you cannot use internal storage because internal storage will be encrypted in TWRP recovery mode so only uh, storage you can access is uh, micro SD card or you can use uh, OTG USB I'm not sure if OTG USB drive will work in TWRP recovery I have not tested it okay these two files are copied uh, viewers uh, this G apps did not work for me so I have flashed another version but I will show you later in this video okay uh, in phone we should uh, verify if uh, these files are uh, showing there sometimes uh, your SD card is corrupted or damaged and files usually don't appear there but we can see uh, files are there so both files are there 
we are going to uh, now flash the TWRP recovery mode so for that we need to enter fast boot mode simply switch off your phone power off your phone and hold volume down key then insert cable your phone should enter fast boot mode and now we can see bootloader is showing unlocked the full unlocked means bootloader is unlocked and now uh, we should open the minimal adb fastboot interface again and here you need to type command fastboot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then simply drag and drop the twrp file on uh, this uh, cmd screen and uh, then simply press enter viewers i will share these uh, files uh, with you you will be able to download okay twrp is flashed now we need to move to computer oh sorry to phone and uh, then you need to disconnect phone from computer and then hold volume up and power buttons for at least 15 seconds okay in 15 seconds your phone should reboot to twrp recovery you just need to keep holding volume up and power buttons okay keep them pressed until you see that message where it says uh, your device is unlocked and cannot be trusted but this smaller message is the correct one if your phone shows up a longer message that means uh, you did not press the buttons properly so you need to repeat the process okay now we should wait for twrp a remote to rec uh, load okay in twrp recovery you should uh, go to wipe advanced wipe and tick in system okay uh, select the system partition and uh, wipe it only system partition don't tick in any other partition okay only system partition should be wiped for the safe side i am doing again you can also wipe it twice okay sometimes it doesn't complete properly so wipe is successful so we will go back and tap on install select storage in tap on uh, install image to see the lineage rom image and select and then you need to tick in system image okay system image partition don't select system select system image partition and swipe to flash now the flashing should start This flashing can take uh, three to five minutes. So I have just uh, skipped the video. You can see flash has been completed. And now if you don't need G apps, you can skip the next step, okay? If you want G apps, you should go back, tap on install zip and select the G apps zip file. Viewers, this version did not work. It uh, gave me an error so i have used uh, open g apps micro version or i think nano version or micro version i have used you can use the same version okay because in another phone this version worked so i thought it will work but uh, it is giving error it is saying that system uh, partition cannot be mounted i think something like that it is saying i will try to uh, mount the system again let's see if it works no it is again giving same error that system cannot be mounted so i will uh, resize system partition because for g apps you need to resize your system partition okay make sure you do this step before flashing g apps otherwise uh, you cannot flash the g apps Okay, the Nick G apps again failed. 
so I am going to uh, copy uh, open G apps I will also share with you the open G apps file so that you don't need to uh, try this Nick G apps okay we will use open G apps because in uh, lineage 17.1 open G apps cannot be flashed but to my surprise in lineage 18.1 open G apps flashed just fine okay the flash is successful now we should go back tap on reboot and press bootloader okay we need to enter fast boot mode again and now we are going to flash stock recovery because this rom cannot boot with twrp recovery mode so we are going to flash stock recovery image we will connect phone with pc and uh, the command is uh, fastboot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk it's the same command which was for twrp recovery but this time we will drag and drop the stock recovery image which is recovery underscore ram disk okay drag and drop and then press enter and uh, stock recovery will be flashed once you have flashed tw uh, sorry stock recovery disconnect your phone from computer and uh, then hold volume up and power buttons simultaneously we was uh, it is same method just like you did with twrp recovery you need to hold these two buttons for 15 seconds and your phone should enter stock recovery mode where we will perform a factory reset
okay we are uh, inside the lineage, lineage rom and uh, you can see it is much smoother and faster than the emui android version is 11 and security patch is uh, 2021 february 5 so everything seems working uh, bluetooth is active wi-fi is active and i will also test if uh, usb files transfer mode is working because in some devices don't work yes the files transfer mode is working fine i can see my phone storage on my computer so that's it uh, viewers uh, i i will just check the basic functions i will try to connect wi-fi i will test the bluetooth or uh, and uh, i will see if play store is working so all the basic functions are working on this rom i cannot make a deep analysis because uh, i am not uh, uh, a regular user of uh, this huawei phone so if you need something else you can install this rom yourself and test it yourself